What's up fellow lettuces? Hope you're having a great day today. It's time I cover a topic I've been wanting to cover for a few months now. That vegan teacher. If you don't know who she is, I'll provide a brief synopsis. That vegan teacher describes herself as an animal rights activist. She's vegan and she has made it clear that she wants to end animal cruelty. Now the issue with her doesn't lie in any of those facts. The issue with her is how she attacks people and has said some truly vile things. It's more so her approach to what she's trying to convey. Now recently she has gained a lot more attention because she has been calling out a lot of public figures or influencers for eating meat or doing whatever behavior she deems unacceptable. Now, in this video, I'm not going to cover the specifics of the drama surrounding her, such as who she called out, who's been making response videos to her. If you want to find that stuff, just search her name on YouTube and it's there. It's all over the place. In this video, I thought it'd be interesting if we take more of an approach to understanding why she is actually harming her cause through her approach. Just what makes her online persona so unlikable, why her activism, as she calls it, is lost on nearly everyone who watches her content and why her actions have most likely been counterproductive to her cause. Take this as a lesson in how not to advocate. I'm gonna be going over her most recent videos on her channel and discussing my ideas on how her approach turns many people away from listening. So sit back, relax, do whatever you wanna do, and let's get into this. When that vegan teacher makes a response video to people who have called her out, from the videos that I've seen, she's started them off by deciding that the person who called her out is her student. Now, considering her name is that vegan teacher, the idea of someone being her student makes sense. However, she's not referring to her viewers here, the people who are eager to learn as her students in this instance. She is referring to the person opposing her. Boys and girls, we have a new student in our class today and his name is Scrubby. Let's sing our opening song for him. Ready? Why the f aren't you vegan yet? What the f is taking you so long instead of playing video games all day long? Now, I think it's safe to say that most people watching this understand the power and balance that exists between a student and a teacher. Students have to obey teachers in school pretty much. They have to submit their work to their teacher. Their grades and future to an extent depend on that teacher. Most watching this video understand that a teacher and a student are not on equal footing when it comes to the power they hold. So when that vegan teacher makes a response video putting herself in the teacher position and the debate subject in the student position, it conveys this message that she sees herself to be above the other person. It is no longer a discussion on equal footing. It is now a lecture where she is assumed to be the right in all fields, while the other person is inexperienced and incorrect. This idea is furthered throughout the video as she keeps the student-teacher idea going on. She assigns the subject either an X or a check when she thinks they got something wrong versus getting something right. Put some check marks if he says something good and some X's if he says something that's bad or weird or whatever. And these X's and checks many of the times are not over something that can be objectively proven true or false. They're over subjective matters that can be debated. Her stance can be disputed. And uh, yeah, let's dive into this cringe wasteland. This Okay, I didn't like that you said it was cringe. That's an X. Okay. At the end of her video, she tells the student that they can resubmit their oral assignment. I don't want to generalize and say that she does this in all of her videos, but I've seen it in every single response that I have personally watched. Oh, wait, let me recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine! All right. Okay, now let's listen. You know, I think you've seen enough. You know, you can go back and do this, this report again. You can do your oral presentation again, Scrubby. I am willing to ignore this and let you pass the course if you do it, but it better be a good presentation. So now the video the person has put out, their opinion piece, their content they made for their viewers has now been reduced to an oral assignment that was made exclusively for her. It must now satisfy her expectations. This isn't really productive to a civil debate or reaching understanding. She comes off as condescending through these actions. I know myself and many other people in this world have a hard time trying to understand and feel like we're getting anywhere in discussion with someone who places themselves so high up in power. I don't think I need a citation to say that most people would be hesitant to adopt someone's viewpoint or embrace their ideas when they seem to have stated that you are lesser than them. That vegan teacher has a way of what many people would deem to be overreacting. Example, one of her response videos is titled, Russell Brand should dump his wife. Now, why should he dump his wife, you may wonder? Well, after sitting through many minutes, she finally talks about why he should dump his wife. Me, 
All right, people like to eat meat. People I love, people I live with eat meat, for God. Why do you live with people who eat meat? For God's sake, my wife. Change it. His wife eats meat. Why do you stay with her? She pays people to murder. It seems like quite the overreaction. Russell Brand is a vegan and he's okay with his wife eating meat, so long as he's okay with it. I don't think they should separate. However, that vegan teacher sees this situation much differently. We can also take a look at her statements addressing Gordon Ramsay if we want to find examples of her tone not really matching up with the situation she's in. Gordon Ramsay ad in the middle of this video. This disgusting human being, this person who thinks it's okay to murder and pay for murder of animals, and he's a shittest cook ever, if he can't even make all of his restaurants vegan. Disgraceful, and I'm forced to watch it. F*** this bullshit. And we can also take a look at how she comments on minor features in the videos she's responding to. For example, how she responds to the Hypixel Bedwars death screen. Today we are going to be uh, soaking in a little bit more of that vegan. Why does it say you died on the screen? Like, can't you find a better game to play? Is there no game where people are rescuing animals? Is there no game where you all go into a, 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 a you know, a slaughterhouse and just go rescue all those poor innocent animals? On multiple occasions, she has exhibited behavior that many would consider overreacting, and this behavior really doesn't help her. Now, the reason why overreacting can be bad if you're trying to educate or send a message is because the very idea of overreacting to something seems illogical. It suggests that emotion is more in play than logical thought, which is why overreacting or exaggeration is used for comedic effect quite often. God, okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? Oh my god, what is that? The fire is shooting at us! Now, her statements and actions in which she overreacts is not used for comedic effect. Rather, this appears to be her genuine response to what she sees, and it does strike most as absurd. Her words, even if they hold validity, are less likely to be listened to when they're presented like this. This disgusting human being, this person who thinks it's okay to murder and pay for murder of animals, and he's a sh** ever. But now he goes into this apologetic sort of thing like i'm vegan but i don't want to like push my beliefs on you like i'm vegan i don't abuse my wife but hey if you go ahead and abuse your wife that's up to you that you're not going to judge somebody who's murdering somebody else if you do not judge that person to be wrong and you don't try to stop them that's not okay the very common pattern the lifestyle of being a meat eater shouldn't be seen as this malicious thing. Yet, in that vegan teacher's videos, she condemns this lifestyle. It feels like a severe overreaction that is blown out of proportion, and this response assigns malicious intent to people. So this certainly doesn't make room for people to empathize with her message or listen to her content when they are being called evil. She has done things in videos that many deem creepy or gross. Let's discuss how that vegan teacher has done some questionable things. In the middle of her response to YouTuber Poncho, she tries to get her point across that veganism for her has given her better digestive health, that it is healthier for her digestive system to be vegan. I think that's all that needs to be said to convey that point, I think. If I say a certain diet is healthier for my digestive system, if you really wanted to, you could fill in the blanks about what that must mean in its entirety. However, that vegan teacher in getting that point across is gross. It was gross what she said. <laughs> She, in detail, described her bathroom habits and the consistency of her waste, and then made assumptions about Poncho's bathroom health. The only thing that comes out of my ass is a beautiful vegan sh**, and it's long, and big, and healthy, and I'll bet you that when I sh**, it's a hell of a lot faster than when you do. You probably sit there and push it out for ages, right? Yeah, you can't get it out. Not me. I just sit there and I go, release and it comes out because my intestines are clean because with the way that I eat, it scrubs all on the inside there and it just comes out beautifully. In fact, I believe that we should all take pictures of our poop. Yes, we should share them and we should compare them. But I tried that on TikTok and they- Yeah, 
It's disgusting. No one needs to hear that. I don't speak for all people, obviously, but I'm gonna go out and say most didn't want to hear that. It was a little nasty. Her point of veganism working out better for her health was definitely negatively impacted by her disgusting way of describing things. This way of speaking, it was unnecessary, and again, this hurts her activism. This is not how you make a video if you want people to understand you and actually consider your ideas. Another segment from one of her recent videos, again, didn't sit well with me. Going back to the Russell Brand response video again, she does something gross. She tells Russell Brand to get his wife to become vegan, and does this by suggesting something I just find too personal and gross. It's your responsibility to make sure that she becomes vegan. Do whatever it takes. Teach her. Withhold sex if you have to. First of all, that reach into that personal section of life was appalling. Secondly, that statement really suggests that he holds this power over his wife and that it is his duty to make her do things she had no interest in doing. Another thing that vegan teacher does that is aggravating is that she makes assumptions on what those who oppose her are feeling. She assumes many things. She states many subjective matters as blatant fact. For example, she states in a video that the reason people dislike her is because she makes people feel guilty. Oh, he's gonna try and pull up some research, because we all know why I annoy everyone. Because I make them feel guilty. Yes, she declares that the dislike of her just comes down to people experiencing guilt. As seen in this video I'm making, or any other YouTuber response videos, there are many reasons you could dislike her. Tons of content creators have talked about her and provided their reasoning. It does not come down to guilt. Yet, she asserts this to be the reason people dislike her. The statement doesn't work because it's easily proven false just based on your own opinion, just based on the collective opinions and videos put out there. Another example of her assuming intent or internal thoughts is again in her Russell Brand response video. Russell states that that vegan teacher is different and not the standard image that pops into your brain when you think of vegan. And she is immediately offended by that comment and she starts reaching for the fact that it must be something about her age, appearance, or gender that made him say that that it must be based on something she cannot control. It's part of the criticism and condemnation of her because she does not fit what our expectations might be. Like, latterly, veganism has been sort of rebranded. What do you think he's referring to by saying that? The fact that my hair is gray, the fact that I'm female, or the fact that I'm 56? What is the discrimination going on right now? Now, I also can't try to assume what he meant by his statement, but it didn't strike me as being that malicious. I think her behavior, her content, and actions sets her apart from many other vegans, and that alone could be enough to say that she is different. Not anything to do with her appearance, gender, or age. She seems to be on the defensive to the point where she responds to some statements as if they were coded to be an attack against her, when they really weren't. She assumes a lot. In another one of her response videos where she is responding to YouTuber Scrubby, she makes a lot of really weird gross statements where she's like role-playing with this dumb idea that Scrubby is watching her video and really taking in her statements and mulling over her knowledge. And in this, she suggests that Scrubby is picking his nose while watching it. Okay, Scrubby, you get it? All right, good. Glad you're listening. And the natural lifespan of a cow. You know what? I'm gonna give you one point just for listening, because I see you there and you are paying attention. So I'm gonna give you a check mark for that. All right? Good. Okay, stop picking your nose though. Okay, don't pick your nose right now, because this is important. This is your evaluation. Step straight. Good boy. How to be unlikable 101. Do this. <laughs> This is not how you make a response video. This is gross. Don't just say that the people opposing you are picking their noses. That is not right. She contradicts herself. Many people contradict themselves. It's just something people do from time to time. People can contradict their past thoughts and behavior over a period of time as a sort of growth or development, but I'm not talking about a gradual change in behavior here. With that vegan teacher, she contradicts herself mere videos apart or within the same video. But the reference to me as an older woman is incredible. It is consistent. Why does my age get brought up, I wonder? What does that have to do with anything? The 
advocate for I their own belief this. system. And this, um, Don't you hate nice. technology? Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm 56 and trying to learn the technology. When combined in with other things we've discussed here, like how she seems to look down on opposing viewpoints, when she contradicts her own ideas, it gets more frustrating. A massive hypocritical belief she holds is that animal rights activists or vegans shouldn't attack each other. However, many of the videos on her channel are response videos to fellow vegans or animal rights activists. Because animal rights activists should really work together. But yet she is here sowing division among fellow activists. She often tears people down who are taking steps that are closer to her belief, but aren't quite there yet. She only accepts vegetarianism as a transition phase to veganism and doesn't appreciate the idea of being a vegetarian alone as valuable. In this industry here, there are many murders being committed. It is not okay to be vegetarian. It is only okay if that is a means to the end, which is to be vegan. She says that animal rights activists need to work together, but she doesn't seem to appreciate the efforts of others until they reach her standards. In conclusion, looking back at the things we've discussed here, I'd say that vegan teacher has failed with her activism. In fact, I think her platform has actively hurt the reputation of veganism. Now, one of my teachers growing up, one of my childhood friends, they were vegan. My family members have tried going vegan. I have no issue with the lifestyle itself, nor do I stereotype all vegans to be like that vegan teacher, but some people do. Some people ridicule and discredit the lifestyle because they imagine vegans as people who act like this. The only thing that comes out of my ass is a beautiful vegan sh and it's long and big and healthy, and I'll bet you that when I sh it's a hell of a lot faster than when you do. Now, that vegan teacher isn't entirely responsible or at fault for the fact that people have this notion of vegans. She can't control what people think. No one can, but the fact of the matter is she has a platform. She is going after people with big platforms and in turn, drawing more attention to herself. She has declared herself an animal rights activist and a proud vegan on her platforms. And in a way, Many people are going to watch her and decide that she embodies those ideas. She represents them to her core and in turn conclude that she is the example of veganism. This is the person that pops into the minds of many when they hear the term vegan. I just think she's harmed the reputation of her cause and her activism has been counterproductive, which is ironic because she belittles others for not being good enough with their activism. She could have used her platform to make actually educational content, considering her name is That Vegan Teacher. For her activism to actually work, I think she needs to educate more. She needs to suggest practical ways in which one could go vegan, instead of just telling Gordon Ramsay to suddenly flip every restaurant into being fully vegan. Like, that's not practical. That's not realistic. It seems irrational. You've had your fun. You have your millions of dollars now. Change your life around. For the rest of your life, your one job is to undo all the damage. It is to make your restaurants 100% vegan and encourage all other chefs to do the same. It really all just comes down to the fact that that vegan teacher has failed to be an educator, but instead she has resorted to attacking others to get her message out. Thank you all for sticking by this channel and watching this video. I apologize for the break in uploads. This has happened before, but due to different reasons. This time I just moved and had my exams. I'm still in full-time university, but I don't plan to abandon this channel. I want to keep making content content for you guys. So for those still watching, thank you. If you guys want to check out my social media or merch, I have links in the description. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, every night is like a day's, but oh, I feel it raised as I know I'm running late. Let's wait just one more day. I know I'm running away from moments. Something's broken.